guys so welcome back to the channel this hair is from mega look hair it's the 30 inch buzz down what 613 and this is all that it comes with check it out came with a lot of stuff i am toning the hair i'm using shimmer lights and i'm just putting just pretty much that much <laughs> but i am putting that in warm water like not boiling hot water but just the warm hot water from the tap and then you see it's this deep purple basically if you add more purple shampoo the more silver it's going to be or the longer that you keep the hair in that um mixture the more purple or sorry the more silver grayish white it's going to be i still want a yellow tint to the hair just not this yellow so i'm dumping the hair in and i am Making sure I'm not keeping it in too long. I'm very mindful, very demure, very mindful of just how I'm keeping it in the water. Because the ends are going to, basically the ends are going to die or tone way quicker than the body of the hair. And so are the knots. The knots are going to turn super white, super quick like that frontal area, that lace area. So you kind of want to be careful, keep like taking it out the water, dumping it back in, just to make sure you have your color that you're going for. Now, if you are going for that gray, silver or white like looking color, by all means, just dunk the hair in there and leave it there. I still would recommend leaving the ends out um, because again, they do just tone a lot quicker. And then as you can see, the water went from like a bright purple to this sort of dull uh, lavender because that purple shampoo is pretty much absorbing into the hair. And then to tone the knots to make it a little bit more tan to uh, match my skin, I am using the T35 Wella Charma and I'm using equal parts, well, one to two ratio. Um, pretty much measured out a little bit of the developer and a little bit of the uh, toner. I didn't use the whole bottle, but I did use two parts developer to one part um, toner. And I'm just lightly brushing that onto the lace, onto the knots, making sure that it's just gonna turn this sort of like goldenish color. I'm not gonna lie, I did feel like I toned it a little bit too much in the front. It, I forget that I'm like, I like bright I'm not gonna lie I'd be forgetting how light I am but <laughs> it just tanned a little bit too golden in the front for me but obviously you want to keep it in for the the longer that you keep it in for the darker it's gonna tone to so if you're more of like a deeper complexion you want to keep it in for a little bit longer if you're as light as me I would just say keep it in for about like five minutes max um, but just keep watching it and then this is how I do my ball cap method. I pretty much just use an Evan spray and then um, kind of cut out the cap to sh frame how I want the wig to lay. This wig, I'm not gonna lie, I have a big head and I also didn't braid my hair down as flat as I should have. Um, I would have done tinier braids. I didn't and so the wig was a little bit tight and I'm using the ebon lace glue as well and I'm gonna use about three layers I am going out this night this is like my birthday night so I was making sure that in this Florida heat it was gonna withstand so I did three layers usually I'll do like one maybe two max sometimes because I like taking off my wigs um, but I knew that I was gonna be out and about and I didn't wanna have it lifting. So I did three layers and then you wanna spread it evenly and you wanna make sure you make the glue dry down before, like make sure it's clear before you move on to your second layer or your third layer. In between each layer, the glue needs to dry down clear. So I spread it thin, I do push it back a little bit um, just so that there's more space that the lace is grabbing onto. 
and I pretty much just pull for forward as you can see I struggle a little, a little bit my hairline like the sides of my hair really kind of not really touch my eyebrows but it's a little bit low compared to like my hairline like my forehead forehead hairline like the sides that corner hits really low especially on like frontals that just don't have enough space it just doesn't give me a lot of room so unfortunately that's what I was just working with here and then I'm just cutting out the ear taps pretty much and yeah like it's pretty simple guys like honestly this wig didn't I didn't pluck it at all um, I pretty much just toned it like you saw and I used a hot comb just to flatten out the uh, hair and when it comes to 613 hair most most wigs most 613 frontals won't even allow you to pluck it for some reason the knots tend to be just a little bit thicker on a 613 wig so it is harder to pluck you're gonna like end up getting those like little hairs that it's just not fully plucked out it's just a hot mess and it yeah so i don't really pluck my 613 wigs at all usually ever i just try to find honestly a frontal a 613 frontal that's just that good and try to customize it as best as i can because like i said i just feel like it does not pluck well And then I lay on the band, honestly, for the whole styling period. So if I'm curling my hair, straightening my hair, I'm going to make sure that the band is on. I like to keep a band on, especially like when I first freshly lay a wig, at least, at least 45 minutes to an hour. Like, it just, I just feel like it melts down. It just is secured that way. Anything less than that is just honestly like a quick like I just know the wig is probably gonna slip off like I need to keep it on for an hour just to feel secure that it's gonna be there all night and then I'm just gonna go ahead and use a hot comb to flatten this out and make sure that it's not too wiggy obviously not too lumpy and bumpy uh, I need that frontal to lay flat I was watching a stream guys so I'm like laughing and watching TV so I was kind of distracted not gonna lie but honestly like I need to watch something while I'm getting ready oh my gosh yes I was distracted but I'm doing a middle part today I just love a middle part I don't know why I said today like I don't do a middle part like every day but I'm just making sure that middle middle part is bust down flat as can be I'm not trying to be clapped Okay, I'm not trying to have a helmet on my head. I'm making sure that it is flat. And then I use a little bit, at first I wasn't gonna do my makeup, but I end up doing my makeup later, but I do use a little bit of um, powder foundation, either like my bronzer, just to blend in the lace. And then this is how I curl my hair if I'm doing just like soft beachy waves. I kind of go as if the curling iron is a wand. And then I brush it out with my um, rat tail comb just to kind of brush out all the curls and just make it sure it's like one like wave if that makes sense. 
but yeah you can see it in there and this hair is so long guys i cut it and i'm so like i need to cut it more And then I'm using some mousse and I'm just kind of fixing the hairline. I don't really like too much baby hairs on a 613 hair, on a 613 wig. Honestly, on this, I will probably put like two on the side just to cover my corners, but that's pretty much it. I don't really like too much baby hairs in general and I definitely don't like too much baby hairs on blonde. I'm just flattening that out a bit more with my curling iron trying to get that bump I love that like M sort of shape when it comes to like the front of the middle part so that's just what I'm doing here and then time to cut off the extra lace honestly you want to be very careful it doesn't look like I'm being careful here but please be very careful and mindful and don't cut yourself and then you'll see it here more where I'm talking about where my corners and the lace just, it just wasn't enough uh, space to kind of get pulled down. But yeah, you can see my corners a little bit more. And obviously since they're darker and the lace is HD, it's more thin. So it's more apparent. You're going to see it a little bit more. But it's okay i'm not too pressed about it because like i said my hair is in the middle part and you really couldn't tell in person it was hidden And then I go in with some spritz just to lay down and melt that lace in a bit more. And honestly, that's pretty much it, guys. Like, I don't really do too much. I do put on my band just to, like, put my makeup on and stuff like that. And that's pretty much what I did here. But... I just wanted to show you guys more of the hairs. Um, after I put that spritz, I do like put on the band for a quick little minute. But yeah, that's pretty much the look, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm so sorry that I've been missing in action a little bit. There's been some technical issues, but your girl is back, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Look at the look at it. Look at it, girl. Oh, you can't tell me that's not going on my scalp. Bye.